Well, this is my, oh, about 12 year old, 13 year old, cheapy craftsman table saw. The motor just locked up. I have no idea why it locked up and it popped the reset up button out. So uh, I thought maybe some sawdust or a piece of wood had gotten wedged up in the motor somehow. So I uh, turned it off, unplugged it, and uh, tipped it over. And, and I, I don't know, I can turn the blade by hand, but it's really rough. Like, I don't know, bearings bad or something. And I can't afford to buy a new one. And I have had this thing for, you know, a dozen or more years, so I've gotten my money's worth out of it. It was a cheap one when I bought it. So, I got nothing to lose by taking it apart, taking the motor out, and seeing if there's a, a reason that I can see for the motor to lock up. So, uh, I'm going to do that and, and uh, show you my progress. Well, I got the wheels off, and I got the uh, dust funnel off. I gotta figure out how to get that motor off. I think there's some bolts up under there, but I gotta follow that wire there over to the the box that's going in right here and see if I can disconnect those wires before I can get the motor out. Okay, I'm just recording this uh, so I if I can't remember where these wires go, I'll have a a video recording of it. Black wires on top. Uh, white wire was on the bottom. And uh, there's a ground wire right there. That's three wires that go to this motor. And then four bolts. And I'll have this motor off in a second. Okay, I got it out, <clears throat> and uh, still bound up. I, I guess I'm going to have to pull the casing off of this, this motor here. Those are Allen head screws. Maybe this is how it comes off. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to take my air hose and blow this off real good so I can see what I'm doing. I want to get it apart, I'll show you. Well, I've got the brushes out. And the brushes look just fine. There's nothing wrong with them. These are the little caps that hold the brushes in. Like that. So, uh, I'm going to dig a little deeper. Nothing wrong with the brushes. I, I was kind of hoping it would be something simple like a, a worn brush. Now I'm suspecting that uh, this is one of two things bearings that have gone bad or I'm hoping something fell down in there like a chunk of wood and it's just binding up that would sure be nice because uh, I hate being without a table saw oh, anyway I'm gonna take the casing off I'll, uh, there's four screws I think that's how it's gonna come off I'm just gonna loosen these four screws up and uh, see if that's how it, how it comes off I just want to do a short clip so I remember where this bracket goes where the bracket goes on the side that the cord is on with uh, the little L portion of it to the right, facing to the right when the cord is facing me. Well, I suspected this and I was hoping it wasn't it. This bearing is uh, froze up. It'll turn this way, but it won't turn the way it's supposed to turn when it's in the motor. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to show you something in this casing. This casing is plastic. Hold on. Excuse my wiggling, but I got to... Can you see where the bearing rides in the very end of that casing? See, it's all melted. All that black plastic is melted. And uh, the reason is this thing was turning with the bearing. The bearing was the whole bearing was turning where it's supposed to be seated. The outside here is supposed to not turn and the inside is supposed to turn on the bearings. So here's my dilemma. How the heck does that come off? Anybody know? Is it a pressed fit bearing? No pins, no clips. Maybe I'll just try to 
pry it off with a screwdriver. But if I put this up, if you see this video with nothing after this, then I wasn't successful. And I'm asking for suggestions from uh, anybody who knows maybe more about electrical stuff than I do. If you can uh, tell me how that bearing comes off so I don't break the rest of this. If I can get that bearing off, there's a place over in Shreveport. Ow. <laughs> place over in Shreveport sells bearings. Uh, might be able to find a replacement. All right. Thanks for watching. Well, anybody who knows me knows I couldn't sit around and wait for help. So uh, I did get it off, but I had to take my Dremel and take it off a piece at a time. And it is just a pressed on bearing. There's no uh, clip or anything holding it on. And it took a whole bunch of persuading to get it off. And boy, was it messed up. It only had about half the ball bearings left in it that it was supposed to have. And these are the little keepers that hold the bearings in place while you're assembling the bearing. And this is actually what bound it up. The keeper broke and uh, locked everything up. And it started just spinning the whole bearing in the end of this housing, which melted the plastic, but it's still usable, huh? And the good news is there's a bearing on the other side that's identical to it, same number and everything. So when I get it replaced I'm just gonna bring this motor and they'll measure the outside of the bearing and the inside where it presses down on this and uh, I'm sure I'll be able to replace this so who knows I might get a few more years out of this I'm gonna go ahead and put this up uh, just because it might be a, a week or so before I can get the bearing uh, they may have to order it and if they can't get it then it doesn't exist that's it bearing service over in Shreveport if anybody lives around here. If you ever want a bearing, because they ain't got it, nobody's got it. Thanks for watching.